in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to get side store so you can sideload any app that you want to sideload. So the first thing you guys are going to do is go on to the side store website on your computer, which I will leave a link for in the description as well. And with this method, there's no jailbreak needed and no computer needed after the initial process. So just click on get started over here and it'll lead you to this page where you'll see all the requirements here. So you need a PC running Windows 10 or later, an Apple ID, an internet connection, and an iPhone or iPad with iOS 14. So over here, you're just gonna have to download each one of these files here. So just click on the actual file and then click on every single file and make sure that you also have iTunes and iCloud as well. And if you have the Microsoft versions, make sure to uninstall them. So in Microsoft Store, you might have it installed but you will need to use these links over here to download both iTunes and iCloud. And once it has downloaded, just click on the actual file here. So I'm just gonna click on iTunes 64 setup first. And you should see this over here and click next, click install, and then you'll get a user account control prompt. So click yes here. And once it has installed, you'll see this page and make sure this is selected here, open iTunes after the installer exits. So make sure that is selected, click finish. And upon opening, it'll tell you to sign in with the iTunes store here. And for this, it's important that you use a burner email as it's recommended by side store because your email tends to get flagged a lot if you are using side store. So avoid using your primary email. So just quickly sign in, which I'll be right back. And once you've signed in, make sure that your device is in fact connected. So I'm just going to do that really quickly. So now just click on your actual device here and scroll all the way down until you see sync with this iPhone over Wi-Fi and make sure that this is in fact selected. And once you're done with iTunes, we can just go back into our downloads and click on iCloud setup. And then once you're done, you should see this pop up over here, which says to restart your system. So make sure that you guys do restart your system and I'll be back when I restart. Once you restart your device, you should get this pop up here telling you to sign in. And if you guys don't see that, then you can click on the little arrow over here, click on iCloud and it should lead you to this place here. And make sure you guys use the same burner Apple ID that you've used for iTunes. And now that we've signed in, what we need to do is now go back into downloads and just click on the alt installer zip over here. And what we're gonna need to do is extract. So click extract all, click extract. And then you will see this. We're just gonna click on setup.exe here. And now we're just gonna follow all of the prompts to install. So we're just gonna click next here and then click next, click next. And then you'll get another user account control prompt. So click yes here. And you'll see that it's finally been installed. So click close. And to make sure it's actually running, we can just click on the search icon here, search up alt server. And then you can just click on it here and you'll see that nothing has happened. But if you click on show hidden icons here, or as you guys can see, it's right over here, alt server, you can see that it is running. And so when you guys are going to click on the actual icon here, you're going to hold shift and then left click. And then you'll see sideload.ip here. And now is the time where you should connect your device. So I'll just quickly do that and then just click on your iPhone here. So I'm just going to click on my iPhone here and now you're just going to look for the actual file. So just go into your downloads here and then just click on the side sword IPA here. And now you're just going to have to use the exact same burner. So I'm just going to do that really quickly. And so you should see this in the corner right over here, installing side store. And while you're doing this, go back into your downloads here, click on jitterbug pair, click on extract all, and you should see these files here. So you're just going to right click on jitterbug here, click run as administrator, and then you'll see another user account control prompt, click yes. And one important thing is you will get a prompt that says trust this computer on your iOS device. So just click trust and then enter your passcode in. And then now you should redo it again and click run as administrator. Click yes. You should see a script over there. And now you will see this file right over here, which is a mobile device pairing file. So with this file, you will need to send this to your iOS device. So you can just transfer this any way you want, but I'm just gonna email it to myself. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna right click on this here, and then you're gonna hover over send to, 
and then click compressed slash zip folder here you should see the zip over here and now you're just going to email it to yourself and now go on your phone click on this little button over here and then click on save to files here and now what you're going to do is go back to the files app and then click on the zip to extract it and now you can see it over here so now what we're gonna do is open up the side store app so just click on the side store app here and then you'll see an untrusted developer pop up so you're just gonna click on cancel here go into settings and then scroll down to general scroll down again until you see vpn and device management and then under developer app just click on the email address and click trust and then click trust so now just go back into the side store app and then you'll get a notification like this so just click on allow and then you see a pairing file option here so click ok and then the zip that you've extracted make sure to find that and use that as a pairing file so go on to wherever it was and then just click on the pairing file here so now what you're gonna do is just go into settings and then just log in with your apple id so use the same burner email that you used before so you'll see all the steps here so just click ok and now you'll need to download WireGuard. So you're just going to go back and then open up Safari. And in Safari, you should be on sidestore.io. So then just click get started again. And then click on just want the downloads instead. And then you should see WireGuard VPN app for iOS here. So just click on that. And so it'll lead you into the app store. So just click on get. And before we open up WireGuard, what you're going to do is go back into Safari here and then download the side store wireguard config so just click on that here and then click on download and then you can just go into your downloads and then you should see the download here so you can just click on done and then open up wireguard here click on plus at the top create from file or archive and then locate the config file which should be at the top of recent so just click on that here click on allow and then put your password in obviously and so now you can see side store over here. So when you're downloading or side loading apps, you will need to have this on. So just take it on here and then you'll see the little VPN icon in the corner over there. So you can just side load any app. So you can just go back into side store here and then go to my apps, click on the little plus icon here and then just click on any IPA that you need. So I'm just going to click on old OS here. You should see the loading bar here. And right now I'm not even connected to power. So you can see that my battery icon is not charging. So I'm I'm not connected to power and it's still downloading and you should see it downloaded here and one thing i do want to note is that if you guys have alt store on your device make sure to delete that because it won't let you install or sideload any apps unless you have alt store deleted so make sure you guys do delete alt store and then obviously now you can just open up the app and uh everything should work fine when refreshing, just make sure that WireGuard is on and then you can refresh wirelessly as well. So you can see here, the VPN icon is here. So I can just click refresh and both should refresh without a computer. Anyways, I hope this video helped. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.